Switched it on. Ah, start, Vivan. What's your question? Rishi, hmm. I learn at school in the Bible. Hmm. They say uh, hmm. God is in heaven. We learn that. But ma- huh? when my when I ask my mom, ma, my mom tells me that that God is within us. Can you please tell me oh, where is God? Where is God? Yeah. 
See, Bible says about Jesus. Jesus is also a yeah, God. We want God. God in form. God in physical appearance. God in physical appearance is Vivan, but in in our way, we really see the God because God has hid Himself. He he veiled Himself. He covered Himself. He closeted Himself in our deep sleep state. You know the meaning of deep sleep state. You slept yesterday night, no? Yes. Yeah, that time you are you are shining in God. Your whole being was immersed, throbbing, godliness. But here, when Vivan gets a doubt, when Vivan listens to something from external. Vivan comes into the picture. Who is Vivan? A yeah, Vivan by name is God in form, God with form. Because what is God without form? Do things exist in space, or where do they exist? Even the stars, sun, moon, all the planets, trees, earth, oceans, big big mountains. Do these things? We are and, all. Uh, we are all existing yes. in. Yes. Existing. Those are in, all made by God. We are all made by God. See, see, it is like. Where do we all exist in empty space? No, your mummy is sitting in empty space. You are sitting in empty space. You, through your eyes and your physical feelings, you see your mummy. You relate with her. God surrounds us. Like space. If you really want to feel God, if you really want to taste God, you will have to merge in empty space. How to how to merge in empty space? How to become empty space? That is what all are learning now through Saukya. It is like merging in empty space is like. Absolute realization of God, absolute feeling of God. Otherwise, only words, words, words. Are you satisfied with words, or are you? Do you really want to taste God? You tell me, Vivan. Um, both. You want both, no? You want to see, and you want to taste. You want to touch. You want to hear, listen, all five sensations that have to take place. No, when yes. you really, re, when what is really feeling God? All five sensations through which we should feel His existence, God's existence. No, isn't it? Yes, God. Yes, God. Ah. Uh, so uh, real god is inside behind his feelings be behind we want uh, the very question of where is god where is he existing the question is asked by we want's mind you get this yes. so who asked you the question you know you means yes. what your question is made up Of your thought, yes, really. So, he is the he is the basis of your thinking. 
he is the basis of all your five sensations such a god only never goes away at all he never leaves us he has always been with us he is ourselves there is no he there is no ourselves the merger constantly is taking place that is what we are practicing here the feel the taste the listening the seeing you want see you be greedy you be greedy trying to feel all in all the ways the existence of god you should see him you should taste him you should listen to him he sings whenever a cuckoo sings it is god's voice even a dark even a dog's bark say god's voice a lion's roar isn't it god's voice yes so everything must be god's voice but he has such a capacity to express himself through various living beings including animals insects earthworms all the things so we see god everywhere but to feel god but to be god to taste god they are all listening to guru ji and they are all trying to see him within themselves your mummy your grandma grandpa madam vaidehi everyone you got it he is already you yeah. uh, you uh, i i am i am i am teaching you how to taste him how to see him how to feel him how to touch him all the things i want you to enjoy living in god merging in god okay yes you got your answer understood yes thank you guruji thank you guruji <laughs> okay okay fine fine do you want to say thank something thank you guruji ah uh, thank you ma thank you do you want to say something do you want to say something on this are you satisfied yes yeah good thank you through vivan the world gets to know everything he is the he is the prime disciple he is the number one disciple foremost prathama disciple they they call prathama mandiri no the prime minister in the same way he is the prathama disciple vivan is the prathama disciple okay he always Fine. has so many questions guruji sometimes yeah. i tell him you ask guruji he'll give you better answer yes 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 sir. please make him to ask questions because uh, he is ripe and rich with uh, uh, the potency of everything it has to it has to express itself it will express itself such a beautiful being it's flowering the way of flowering is only through questions doubting doubting hmm doubting everything doubting our own existence is the final climax the uh, doubting of our own existence or our own being is the ultimate climax in this that is what is called as self inquiry doubt on the self the existence of a separate being how this fellow has come into existence what is he made up of how does he see what is the capacity of seeing through his eyes or through his uh, thoughts or feelings how do these things happen in him all these things are actually the investigation or inquiry so he is already ripe and rich where else it will go everything in a seed form with move on so encourage him so whenever uh, he uh, ask doubts or questions please do make it to note it down and make sure him remember per week one question from we want 
okay okay so that will set the ball rolling of sahukya yeah. yes yes <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure he'll be very glad to ask yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he is a blessed child ma absolutely blessed <laughs> child hmm god sent child god himself has descended in the form of vivan <laughs> yeah which yeah. he wants to know <laughs> go and look at the mirror you will find god <laughs> you immediately want to see god you now see the monitor one who is sitting in the middle little buddha he is is that lord <laughs> lord of bible lord of quran lord of bhagavad gita lord buddha <laughs> no doubt for this week shall i comments for others you also join yes, 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 joyfully graciously grace the occasion okay shall we go we will go we will go to the next uh, practice the fourth one so everything is given in a form of a way or method or technique actually it is methodless but to use it to use a word to title it i will have to place it as a technique this is the fourth technique we are going to see we had seen three now this is the fourth one self inquiry technique four inquiry in the sense the way vivan has taken us now he started inquiring himself as to what school the teacher has said about uh, jesus and bible so they are all evidently available outside but where is he for me where is he as a, as an individual where does he exist this has been the question this is a, he has started for an answer within himself and that has come out for all the benefit of us for benefit of all of us it has come to the saukya okay See, we can't see. You can't see. You must be able to see because now, no, now it will change. See. You wait. It, the next uh, next slide will come. Yeah. See, this we can never lose sight of. See, we are made up of these five sheets. In English, they call it as sheets. Sheets means just like pillow covers or onion that we peel. how the onion uh, skin is peeled off in the same way each cell of us contains a message being a message in the form of trillion 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 invisible part of mind each cell contains this that is why when birth birth happens it happens through a single cell immediately the re- replication process takes place in mother's womb so maximum around 270 days to 300 days the full grown child is formed trillions of cells already and uh, for a grown up man it is judged that about 40 trillions of cells are making his physical organism though each cell each speck of space also contains has mind in it that we call it as cosmic mind the same cosmic mind in a human being it uh, it uh, creates these five levels of skins or sheets the first is the causal body this is the cause it is why it is called uh, called as causal because no one has ever inquired who is he what is he why is he have you ever asked this question have any one of us asked this question ever not at all to get this question we should have been fortunate enough 
out of selfless service only this kind of a question dawns in a human being it must be the final birth before liberation what is liberation or what is enlightenment what is self realization which self is realizing what normally we are made up of this five element five sheets one upon the other is veiling itself the next level is the second one that is the vijnana maya kosha made up of intellect this this springs into action during our waking state the second one comes into action in our waking state and in dream state also 2 3 4 this 2 3 4 third is the manomaya kosha and fourth is the pranamaya kosha the principle of life life principle life principle through breathing through prana prana means life giving principle which every breath mind also mind makes the breathing going on in a body in a physical body prana fills the cosmos though it fills everywhere but in a being it has to work as a mind through thought patterns through individually undergoing experiences in the form of good and bad pleasure and pain papa and or punya highly lowly so many things rich and poor even birth and death physical examples are dualities are day and night man and woman they are all physical behind every physical thing there is the cos- the play of cosmic mind cosmic mind or our mind the our mind filled with thoughts or feelings or emotions they never leave this cosmos when upon grace upon the grace of the supreme lord or the self itself one starts getting all these questions doubting about his own being why am i thinking constantly why at all should i not live with live without thoughts because thoughts come and shake one completely uproot one make one to suffer for a momentarily it makes one pleasurable most of the time sorrowful painful expectations expectations don't get fruitful at all likes and dislikes every all sorts of dualities all these things are there without a form in the cosmic mind the moment i say the moment i use the word cosmic it it actually is the cosmos itself cosmos is the physical manifestation but underneath beneath it is the cosmic mind which doesn't have a form unless you speak a word no one will come to know even you will not know that you thought about this speech or this sentence unless you speak it out now we are at the point uh, saukya teaches saukya guides everyone how to get over beyond emotions beyond thoughts all the time we think we jump into thinking it's like a it's like a mechanical reaction thoughts immediately 
through through the contact of all the five senses with the external world judging about someone or listening to someone's uh, some some autocratic way of behaving adamant way of behaving so all these things immediately perturbs one and it stirs the feelings in one immediately reactionary feelings surge in one and they they produce thoughts in our chatter we might get angry but it cannot be expressible at that moment who ever probed you how we were as a hostel a little child he did ask this question how am i to control my anger same way here we are not we don't know what is the way to it is it, it is not the proper word controlling because we cannot control anything at all because we are not at the mercy of this body we think ourselves as this body we think this body is thinking this body has become angry this body uh, feels the pleasure or uh, this body undergoes pain this uh, body undergoes deception but it doesn't undergo because it is a mass of inertia body doesn't undergo at all that is why i had given this picture we should we should never forget because these are all basic uh, charts in the basic charts these three are called the uh, subtle intellectual mental pranic bodies 2 3 4 first is the primal causal body it is made out of ignorance ignorance what is that ignorance because when you get up only you come into existence as if only one when one is awake he feels that he is really living and most of us so mechanically we are thinking the thinking process always goes on in us so we tend to take ourselves to be a thinking machine and we are thinkers only through thinking we are living this is a kind of notion with which we live isn't it see even for a body movement walking a few steps as if you will have to think about it you are the thinker and body is the thinker who through thinking he gets up and walks thinking makes him walk thinking makes him to act do things deeds what is this kind of conditioning it is also made in the it is already made in the cosmic mind and that cosmic mind takes the link of our ignorance through ignorance immediately it spread spreads its tentacles through number 2 intellect number 3 mind number 4 the pranic body this is only a monitor fifth gross physical body saukya focuses exclusively from here from from 3 not even 4 3 2 1 reverse order if this is this the, the well being of these three there is no well being only we will come to realize that these three never existed that is what is realization a thought has no place anywhere in this cosmos except in a human being animals do not think they live their emotions or feelings they don't think when a cuckoo sings it it is not even aware that it sings it never knows cuckooing is happening through it but why are we endowed with a separate faculty called the third one that is thinking mind where language is formed logic is there reasoning is there attitude is there feelings are all made to get satisfied why do we why do we live here what do we expect here we want to satiate ourselves we want to undergo experiences we seek happiness in things in relationships in speech in seeing in tasting 
and all the more be getting children that is also a kind of pleasure that is also comes with the bodily tendencies so everything is tendencies that is why our gnanis or rishis they have gone through all these things especially 3 2 1 1 in the reverse order because the purpose of these two 4 and 5 is to actually in one life when he gets a human body a viveki or an advanced disciple one who wants to realize the truth or attain jnana wisdom he sim immediately starts his living straight away in probing about the thinker if there is a thought who has thought about it who thought was it who thought that thought is it a form which has created that thought was it the form which thought about it the physical form where is thinking happening where is listening happening now in you where is listening happening act tell me it's What happening in the mind ha eh? ah, in the it's mind it's happening in the mind in the mind where can you show the mind i can only see purnima i don't see any mind of her there is nothing no, visible like see mind it. No, unless you unless you answered me until and unless you answered me i i didn't see your mind i was yet to see your mind i was yet to get your answer so be, always it is beneath but it is the prime mover isn't it your speech did not produce the mind your mind produced the speech yes. are we clear yes the subtle body even prana is a subtle body vocal cords have to move the rishis have seen five st- four stages the f- 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 the the primary stage is they call it as paravak the inner moves to silence even silence they heard that means they they could able to they could still their mind and look at that silence even silence was not heard silence was looked at that's why we are going to deploy a deploy an i e v e okay in the rain that will start growing within you just by gazing all the inner movements of the three koshas especially this mind intellect and ignorance what is this kasal body is ignorance the i the feeling of feeling that i don't want this certainly i want this i cannot live without this such a sort of an attachment that has happened already so all these uh, three things unless the inner gaze is opened unless one takes the advice or the hands of the realized and their guidance this eye is never opened at all. and wh- what is this inner eye it doesn't have a form you will have to culture it you will have to cultivate it in sitting our just be through being just be naturally the transcendence is also by and by by and by taking place thoughts are pacified subdued you don't you cannot control it because you are the thinker you are the thoughts how how itself how the mind itself can control the mind so it cannot happen this is how it happens now we will go to the next slide and then these are all mandatory slides which should never be forgotten these are all 
even beyond the invisible levels feel levels only it can be seen with an inner eye that is what we are going to culture and cultivate here it is given as invisible intangible imperceivable 2 3 4 plus this never existed at all ignorance the causal body because deep sleep no one knows what's happening still we only underwent sleep we had undergone sleep but no one has ever realized except the realized people because deep sleep like samadhi experience or a state of fourth state of existence the realized undergo even their existence their life is nothing but the way of wisdom lives through their physical body also they per se they are not persons they are the embodiment of very jnana the foundation principle of the complete cosmos the truth truth itself has descended as a realized person so for such a level of uh, thing you are you are all graced you had that grace of previous lives it's a story which has been continuing eternally until and until one meets the realized the realized comes and shows he shows that this is going on repetitively are you only these thoughts are you only living for these names and forms and what are thoughts they are projecting lot of videos as well as audio stuff in it and the moment a video or audio has arisen in you what happens you are attacked you lose yourself in those passing is there only everything is passing by within us or or the or does anything exist concretely like a witness that's what we are going to see in this fourth technique you will have to live this technique for the remaining one week we will go to the next slide this we have been showing all these five koshas which were all fragmented scattered without an identity as i or me or mine or myself but they they are strengthened during when they get together with an identification through the physical body because we always refer ourselves through the body even to think within us see they have not reacted properly they have not given shown the respect which was to be shown to us all this kind of uh, inner chatter going on judgments going on opinions going on conclusions are all derived at what do they all show they show there is an inner being apart from this physical being which independently uncontrollably projects things forming opinions judgments always in conflict or struggle with within himself or within herself isn't it but outwardly when we see a a woman is walking by a man is walking by apparently seem to be nothing to worry nothing but inwardly lot of chaos is going on split diverse within that is how the cosmos is also but this has been conditioned through this identifying with the physical body as i me mine for me by me with me mine etc that gains fully collected gathered comes as a single being for appearance from others point of view yeah he seems to be happy but within him he only knows he has been sad he is feeling lot of pain within himself he doesn't know what to do he is always caught in predicaments so this kind of thing is going on whereas externally if you see 
a person is seen to be a single person whereas inwardly the subtle body creates havoc in everyone's life okay so these fragments only make up a man or a woman and they disintegrate when he dies even for a third thought pattern to linger in you in the background of your mind only during those moments you are created you think those thoughts either you suffer or you you feel you are blissful or pleasurable and they also go away everything goes away everything happens for a moment in a moment momentarily they th- these things happen and they go away everything goes away and with the moving of thoughts feelings and emotions time also moves by nothing stays permanent then what else or we to rely on to do a technique that's what is given in this thing but at the outset we always say this there is a thing formless which is also limitless unleaving unarising undisappearing unstuck non related unsupported separationless still silent blissful self of the deep sleep state in deep sleep we don't have our existence did not have a form we did not enjoy or suffer because there was no mind there were no thoughts there was no one but still like a dead corpse we existed but it was blissful the same state without a form is the self supreme self now here it is the collection of so many past or future projections or ideas or conditioning everything come together and form a single physical organism under a name and a form call it as man or woman with different roles playing different roles with different types of moods and emotions only in forms people differ but the content seems to be the same for whole of the humanity do you, do you understand this point all the 800 crore people of the earth they fall into two categories man and woman okay inwardly is there anything called as a man's mind man's thoughts woman's thoughts woman's feelings man's feelings there are no such differentiations subtle body is the same outer cover alone is changed in every birth accordingly all the relationships are rewritten at one time he was a man at another birth he becomes a woman whoever was is relative in a different way they also come into different way we never go away at all we only change the body case of the mobile phone inner software is the same thing the same binary units zero and one one and makes the complete uh, computer program okay the same way now we go to the fourth technique what have we given here can some of you read this with a watcher with a watcherless witness like gaze deployed 24/7 in just be ferocity of the flow of thoughts feelings drastically gets pacified can you see your passing thought is it possible normally if you, if you start if you start to see your own thought then normally we tend to take it that the seer is also a thought right yes seer as a thought objectifies another moving thought as an ob- object and sees it this is the kind of notion we have right whatever inside is nothing but in the form of thinking or thoughts is this called controlling it cannot be controlled same thing cannot control the other water cannot drive away 
it's part of the same water right it cannot separate water cannot separate itself some block physical block has to be placed something else has to come in between to segregate even one tank isn't it in the same way within we are introducing an i e y e and we you should assume in the beginning that he doesn't employ thinking to see he is not a thought which sees suppose purnima watches her own thoughts assume that purnima in a phantom like form okay a phantom appearance also stands by the side away from her sofa and sees closely within her mind objectifies the whole movement of his mental content her mental content and watches it in the same way here 24 by 7 normally uh, apart from sitting times exclusively sitting times you should take it yourself that in the beginning with eyes closed when you look at there won't be any difference between the watcher and the watched you get this thinker and the thoughts but by and by your 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 focus on the witness side gathers power it has to be cultivated this witness like gaze has to be cultivated you understand this witness like suppose you ask we want to read aloud a chapter you consciously listens to it whatever he reads suppose if he makes makes a mistake grammatically or in the pronunciation immediately you jump into the picture and say no 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 again you read it here if he mispronounces it what do you say no oh, this is how this this has to be pronounced yes for others we are able to be like a witness and silently listen silently see silently feel without comment suppose you go to someone's house and they have called in the sambar they have put double time salt double dose salt you will not jump out and say what is this you will not yell at them whereas in your home you have all the liberty this is sambar you shout at them you have control there what is that sort of control you have that capacity similar way to distance your own mind you should develop this capacity of seeing this is not the purpose of distancing it when you make a person available with you new immediately the, the, the regular ferocity of the uh, flow of thoughts will come down it cannot behave in the same way if there is an onlooker if there is a cctv camera how will our behavior be it will become gentle at least to it is shooting us <laughs> freely <laughs> let me give a dance <laughs> we will pose to that camera here nothing of that sort because we are always in that cctv camera of the self but it never shows the recorded version of it because this science has never been told shown to anyone these were all kept very hidden secret as if to an advanced seeker out of his anxiety and suffering he should come and seek for this uh, kind of uh, knowledge then only it is told now we are bringing it to your hand in your palm in your mobile this facts what am i saying here is this witness like gaze can you employ it right now for some moments yes immediately just close your eyes in within you you assume there is a phantom like figure in its presence your thoughts might arise or might not arise your feelings might arise or might not arise 
we are not but we are not concerned about it just we are being there this silent being a witness like being never moves away the focus is always on the subject of witness like i witness like watcherless watcher seer not on the moving thoughts or emotions or whatever the content that is happening in you we you don't create this person or deploy this person only to look at them you are there only for this person you are, you remain as this person alone do it when i ask you you can open your eyes very very slowly and gently with your palms warm up your face and with folded with your palms keep your palms on your both eyes inwardly open the eyes first and then open it without your palms on your face the light should not enter immediately this will bring down the flow of thoughts emotions it do, it doesn't mean that you you are controlling because control will not help because who is the controller controller should also be another thought because we have no other means within our mind we have only the instrument called thinking feeling or identifying as myself or i am by me with me myself my my all these things nothing else apart from this and all these things are conditioned to the world of things as well as other human beings and the relationships we undergo with people as well as things nothing other than this so for all for all these things to happen the only medium is thought thought cannot control thought itself thinker cannot control the thinker thinker is also a thought thought is also a thinker thinker is a thought thought is a thinker so by and by the strength of thinking has to naturally come down because we are not thinking machines do you all agree to this fact that the inner chatter has been going on everlastingly do you agree with this non stop yes, yes. so if you if you bring in a uh, seer or a controller he also must be one among the passing chatter no yes it is we are actually fooling ourselves if you want to see you you have collected water from a well or from a lake you have gone on a picnic hmm? everyone has almost so they sat and they are relaxed and you are, you, you you are bringing water from the lake original water from the lake to quench their thirst they all played sufficiently they are all exhausted and when you go and step into the lake immediately it is stirred the water is stirred the dots get they they rise to the surface the water becomes polluted with dirt what do you do slowly you step away allow the water to settle down without dirt then let the clarified water come to the surface slowly without even making any ripples slowly you put your vessel or a jar or a tumbler or anything mug and you take the water from the surface in the same way we have we, we should sit in just be two times a day morning and evening minimum half an hour maximum any amount of your availability no harm nothing will be done very safe very natural and your your whole day the whole environment around you will look in will, will, will give a different appearance to you 
because you are changing you are getting clarified you are getting more and more clarity this clarity you are not done anything with your mind to get it the moment you try through your mind you will be more polluted more stars will get wrecked up not they will get settled down okay but on the contrary you have to be just be the the onlooker the observer the silent uh, the person who gazes who deploys the silent gaze just be gaze he is an anonymous person but you are cultivating him by and by by and by he alone brings you liberation not only liberation in the sense not running out of family facing everything they call it love and war both are same isn't it the human love as well as war in the battlefield they are the same here it is done in with emotions there it is done with weapons ownership isn't it but they are in category in reality they both are same they are all fight on here the very instrument we are made up of is with which we live with which we we actually relate here with things or uh, people with our own self everything is judgment everything is opinions ideas they cannot be settled just like that by chanting some mantra or controlling or they doing one uh, type of dhyana or some sort of some sort of pranayama and then some yoga asana some sitting posture some isolation going to some room all uh, making all the persons to go away from home nothing of this sort will work out we have to take things scientifically mind is a scientific illusion scientific bio organic hard disk what does your uh, computer hard disk do it automatically takes in through all your apps whether it is windows or mac you have all the word program then you have all the other programs x and these that so many things whatever impression you make create it gets stored audio is there video is there different kinds of instruments everything is stored in the same way this has been happening because there is nothing other than this bio organically recording our disk other than this there is nothing this cosmos is that alone is this cosmos so it works through us so first we have to know the nature of it its nature is this recording whatever you do or you don't do it records whether you like or dislike whether you want whatever wanted thing you get it or you don't get it everything is your frustration is also recorded your satisfaction is also recorded everything is recorded minus is minus plus is plus plus will be added on with pluses minus will be added on with minuses minuses has to be nullified by minus only plus will have to be nullified by minus only separate minus of that plus okay so account is always running account never the account gets exhausted because nobody has explained how this the mathematics is working how this organic registration is working no one knows how to delete it only a realized sage knows this truth what he says <coughs> just be always be like a phantom witness that's all it will come down okay so you until the next class you take it sincerely with earnest interest even why i say wide open you can do during your course of other uh, day day to day course also you can take it up other than this two sittings minimum three or four sittings if you are available with yourself beautiful 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 you will start enjoy in this settings because it is the real person who is going to 
open in you arise in you you will have to take interest in him because he, he cannot be found anywhere in your relationship in the books in the external world because it is your own you that is what is they called it calling it as the supreme self atma atma means not a mystic feetless feetless smoky angelic or demon like nothing of this sort atma means what deep sleep state we simultaneously exist with form without form also we have been existing that is why we remember we slept nicely or we did not sleep properly we did not have a good sleep everything is because of restrictions only we come to know it through memory so memory is always open even no impression is registered here but computer doesn't register unless its keyboard is pressed whereas this bio organic memory even deep sleep is a display of past registration okay if you have slept nicely yesterday that was a registration past registration only has again played through you whatever you have sown that you have been reaping here yeah. everything good sleep bad sleep neutral sleep good day bad day neutral day all adjectives in verb as well as nouns everything is our past that is what this bio organic hard disk get this so take sincere interest do this 15 sessions next week we will meet okay, okay. bye thank you very much thank you very much